Yeah, boy! What's going on, boys? We're back again with another Apex Legends mobile video. We are only days out now from the beta. It's going to drop any time in the next few days. Hopefully, I'm going to get a chance to play it and show you guys. But if not, I'm going to be able to get the gameplay somehow for you. Now, in this video, some really interesting news has come about. If you guys didn't see already on the official Apex Legends YouTube, they just released a new legacy gameplay trailer. And in that trailer... They announced a brand new game mode, 3 versus 3. Now, we all know Apex Legends Mobile is going to start off with a battle royale, but I want to talk about the 3 versus 3 mode. Apex Legends are basically adding Valorant into Apex Legends. Now, this makes me curious as to whether or not it will be in the mobile version. So, in this video, we're going to react to the trailer. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. We all know that Call of Duty Mobile is fried from having a multiplayer and a BR, so it wouldn't surprise me if Apex Legends Mobile and Respawn added in an extra mode aside from just battle royale so without further ado enjoy the rest of this video but before i go i still have a hundred dollars cash giveaway until the end of this month you can find a link in the pinned comments in the comment section and as soon as the beta drops i'm going to be live streaming on the official app trovo amazing platform link in the description go ahead and follow it and without further ado again let's get into this video let's go Hey guys, so behind me is the legacy trailer for the new 3 versus 3 mode in Apex Legends PC and console. I'm just going to react rawly to it and uh, let's just get into it. I'm going to pause it throughout and we're going to talk a bit about it. So let's go. So this is actually a new permanent mode. So it's not going to be a limited time mode. It's a permanent mode that they're adding in. This makes me think that they're going to do the same in Apex Mobile as well. They say knowledge is power. But what you do with it, that's what's important. The Apex Games are where the champions are crowned, but the arenas are where legends are made. I said danger close. Weren't you listening? The arenas are my games. They're not about fame or spectacle. They are about the fight. Arkstar! The rules are simple. It's just your squad and their squad. Adios, champ. Okay, so it literally is just three versus three. The maps, as they, they've said, they've added new Taylor custom maps. So it looks like there's going to be a series of small maps, which is going to see this pretty much like Call of Duty multiplayer, but it's only going to be, be obviously three versus three instead of five, five versus five. So let's carry on. Whoever survives wins. Now pay attention. This is how the game is played. Assemble your squad in the customary fashion. Before the fight. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's just, let's just stop a second, uh, no, just, just, attention. just... Yo, she's looking thick, you know what I'm saying? Why don't, why don't you put in the comments if you agree with me or not? Alright, let's continue. Uh, sus. This is how the game is played. Assemble your squad in the customary fashion. Before the fight begins, squads are enclosed in their spawn room and have access to the shop. Here you... Wow, so it literally is Valorant. Apex Legends have literally taken Valorant's sort of genre and gameplay and they've literally added it in. So you can see there, obviously you've got the amount of points at the bottom. You've got 550 you start with. Obviously you start with uh, basic weapons and then I guess the more kills you get and the more points you get, the more money you, um, you gather and you can basically upgrade your weapons and buy new weapons and shields and, and healing items just above me as well. So... Yo, that's actually amazing. Imagine this in the mobile version, guys. Again, I think the mobile version is just going to come as a battle royale at starting off because we all know Apex Legends is mainly a battle royale. But it wouldn't surprise me if they added this game mode in very, very soon. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Let's carry on. You can purchase weapons, items, and abilities with crafting materials. I will grant you a set amount of materials at the start of each round. You may earn more through your performance. Materials can be used immediately or saved for superior equipment later in the match. No purchased gear follows between rounds. Wait, where's all my stuff? Materials can be used to upgrade weapons, 
making yeah. you an even greater threat. At the end of the buy phase, the shields drop and the fun begins. Both teams engage in combat until one side is wiped out. Downed teammates can still be revived. But in this game, there are no respawns. Use the pressure. It's the only way to survive. Supply bins containing consumables and material canisters are scattered throughout the arena. Okay. A single airdrop containing three weapons arrives in the middle of each round. The tier of the weapons in the drop pod increases from round to round. Use them to overpower your competition. It's high risk. High reward. Maybe next time? You should try a different path. The first team to score three victories with a two-win margin will be declared the champion. If teams battle to a deadlock 4-4 four, four tie... Wow, so it's literally first to four. But obviously, uh, sorry, it's first to five. But obviously, if you draw at four, you play a sudden death mode as well. So, I mean, it, it's kind of like Destiny slash Valorant slash Apex Legends, as you can see right there. So, yeah, you get a deadlock tie. It's, it's out of nine rounds. So, wow, this looks incredible. Look at like the, the characters at the bottom. You can't see them behind me, but we've got three characters there, three characters on the left. We've got that thick bird right there. Um, but let's carry on watching. Four four tie round nine is my favorite part. Sudden death. Sudden Close death. Knock down more than a few. Each arena has its own personality and acts as an optimal combat testing ground. The phase runner on Olympus wasn't the first of its kind. A prototype long abandoned rests in a remote section of Talos. Luckily, it remains intact and functional, providing unique combat opportunities to those clever enough to seize them. There's a research afoot. And then, of course, uh, utter me him. Coma was simply another Outlands hotspot turned yesterday's news until an ill-fated joyride gave it a new landmark. You're welcome. With my assistance, the city has been reignited with a new monument to incompetence. Wow. Thank you for this. I feel much better about myself now. Mirage, baby. I have also secured some viable locations throughout the Outlands to serve as arenas. And don't get too comfortable. The future promises to be a bit fiery. I think someone's here. Oh, we got oh, the new character. Yes. A new legend has joined the fight. This little one. Yo, we've got Valkyrie, the new legend. Yo, she looks absolutely insane, which I want to kind of talk about the legends as well, guys, because we all know at the start of Apex Legends will probably just be seven basic characters. I want to know if Apex Legends Mobile is going to include sort of all of the characters, because there's, there's, I think there's like 15 characters now, so 15 legends. So I'm quite curious to see if, if they'll be highlighted. It would be cool to have Valkyrie in it, but let's, let's check her out anyway. She looks insane. One and I share a common legacy. Pilot blood runs through her veins. This is Valkyrie. Sending down hellfire. She is as fearless as she is reckless. Friend or foe, make sure you look up as she takes the fight to the skies. No way. Legends. The skies belong to me now. The arenas are the ultimate test of skill. Oh, and a new weapon! So I have a gift. The Bocek Compound Bow. The Bosec Compound Bow. This precision weapon requires patience and pinpoint consistency. It is made even deadlier with its two hop-up slots. Legends can combine shatter caps, splitting the arrow tip into a shotgun pattern. And Deadeye's tempo allowing a faster draw when firing at the optimal pace. Master all of this, and you will become a true assassin. You gotta take risks to be champ. The need to prove superiority is instinctive. Hopefully, you can impress me. I'll see you in the arenas. Olympus security perimeter alert. Wow. Multiple unknown ships entering secure space. All personnel... Please secure docking stations and oh, prepare this? for arrival. 
Security forces on full alert. Strap in, Mutie. Things are about to get mighty interesting. What the hell was that? Are they adding freaking aliens into Olympus? Whoa, seriously, guys. Just imagine if they put this amount of work into the mobile version. I just want to go over that bow as well. They've basically introduced a bow that can be used as an SMG and a shotgun and a long-range bow. That's 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 insane. That's 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 absolutely incredible. Which brings me to my next question: Is what kind of weapons are going to be in Apex Legends Mobile? Obviously, at the beginning of Apex Legends, there was only a, a certain amount of weapons, like the Spitfire and, and the Wingman. Obviously, they're still in it now, but the Alstar and stuff like that. They 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 slowly integrated new weapons, such as the Vault, um, sort of newer weapons, but. I wonder if, uh, if if we're going to have all of the weapons and all of the legends. It's going to be very interesting to see. Obviously, the beta is out this week, so we'll definitely see exactly what is going to be in the game. It might not be the final version, the beta. They might add some more stuff when the global version comes, which I'm predicting if the beta's out in the next week, then we're going to get the global version maybe towards September time, sort of three to four months from now. But... I'm excited, guys. I want to know what you think, if you think there's going to be this mode in Apex Legends Mobile. Because again, bring it back to my point, Call of Duty Mobile thrived because it had multiplayer and Battle Royale. So it had two amazing big modes to play. If Respawn do this correctly and they add Battle Royale into, Re into Apex Legends Mobile, which we already know it is, it is a Battle Royale mobile game. If they add this mode into it as well, then this this game could just blow mobile gaming out of the water and all of the other games. It could literally destroy Call of Duty Mobile, in my opinion. Three versus three, it's like Destiny and Valorant in one. If Respawn really wanted to thrive on mobile, then they need to go down this route. And I want you guys to, again, type in the comments if you think they should add this game mode in. I'm going to put a poll in the comments. So, again, just like that if you think they're going to. But that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Again, my next video is probably going to be when the beta comes in the next few days don't forget i'm still doing a hundred dollar giveaway before the end of the month you have to just click on the link follow the instructions and you can be entered into the giveaway i'm going to be live streaming the event on the official app trovo so make sure you go in the comments find my trovo link in the description come and follow me over there obviously don't forget to hit a subscribe and hit a like as usual and hopefully the next video guys will have some freaking mobile gameplay so thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace